Making money on Amazon FBA is simple, but there are a few mistakes that can quickly kill your sales. In this video, I'm going to show you what they are and how to fix them fast. Hey there, my name is Rachel Rofay and I've been selling on Amazon for a few years. In this video, I want to share with you the five biggest mistakes people can make when they're selling on Amazon FBA. A lot of these mistakes can kill your sales very quickly, so it's important to know what they are and how to fix them fast. So one of the first mistakes that new FBA sellers make is simply not choosing a clear best-selling product on Amazon. Although it might be obvious, when you first start as a beginning seller on Amazon FBA, it's easy to feel overloaded with a variety of niche ideas that you're going to want to try. After all, of course, you want to maximize your chances of making a sale. However, it's not necessarily the case to do what we've been doing with low hanging system with FBA because with low hanging system, it's all about throwing spaghetti at the wall so you can create as many opportunities for people to buy from you as possible. With FBA though, it's good to be more intentional with the products that you add, primarily focusing on products that have already made a few sales or have proven best selling niches. So to maximize the most out of your FBA listings, you'll want to focus your attention on products that can quickly sell all year round called evergreen products. Now later down the road you can add kind of more trendy products but it's always safe to choose designs that never really go out of style otherwise you might be wondering why your Halloween mug isn't really selling in June. So examples can include that you can do evergreen would be like birthday celebration mugs or anniversary mugs occupation mugs, general hobbies and passions, and things like that. The list can go on and on, kind of our normal low-hanging niches, that kind of thing. Next problem that some people have with the FBA sales is to use low-quality product mock-ups. So you want to use better mock-ups. It's an easy thing that you can do to increase your chances of making a sale on Amazon FBA. It would just be get high-quality mock-ups so that the buyer can really envision themselves with the product in front of them. Work, but sometimes it's an easy one to just test. So sales can often happen through emotional impulse so if a buyer can easily see the clarity of your designs it can increase the chances of sales you'll also want to ensure that the products are always featured against a white background that's one of amazon's rules for the primary default photo product photography can be impactful especially with e-commerce but purchasing mock-ups are sometimes you know expensive and time consuming and a lot of sellers mistake using low quality images thinking that any photo is better than no image at all again low hanging it's fine if you have the normal mock-ups but you do with low hanging system have access to tons of great product mock-ups that you can test i routinely have my designers create free product mock-ups for you to use with your listings they are sometimes things like lifestyle mock-ups showing the products in use so shoppers can get a better feel for what it would be like to own a particular item next is not updating your seo so this is a big one a mistake that new amazon fba sellers make is failing to update their SEO. Now, again, if you're doing the low hanging, sometimes you don't need to, but if you find that your sales aren't moving, search engine optimization could be really helpful to help rank higher in Amazon search results and get you some more sales. So the higher your listing ranks, the more likely it is to be seen by potential buyers. So when they type in something like funny cat mug, yours comes up first if you have that product. Amazon's algorithms are constantly changing, so keeping your SEO up to date is essential. So if you want to make sure your Amazon listings are getting seen by potential buyers, there are a few things that you can do. Regularly update your keywords and other listing information. That's going to help ensure your listings are being indexed properly by Amazon search engine. You can also use Amazon's sponsored products program to help get your listings in front of more people. The sponsored products are ads that appear on Amazon next to the related products. And when someone clicks on one of those, they're taken directly to your listing. So that helps you get higher search rankings. You can learn more about Amazon's sponsored products program in my blog post linked in the description. The next thing is ignoring customer feedback and reviews. So a common mistake is simply ignoring negative reviews that might be piling up. Happy customers, of course, are the bread and butter of any business, but they're especially vital to Amazon FBA because it's a competitive marketplace. Customers definitely rely heavily on reviews and feedback. So if you want your listings to rank as best sellers and receive positive five-star reviews, you need to make sure you're providing an exceptional customer experience. There are a few key ways to do this. First, focus on fulfilling orders quickly and accurately. This might seem like a no-brainer, but it's important to set expectations with customers from the beginning. Make sure they know when their order will ship and provide tracking information so they can follow its progress. Second, keep your return policy clear and concise. 
Customers should know what to expect if they need to return an item, and you should make the process as easy and hassle-free as possible. You also, of course, want to provide top-notch customer service if something goes wrong. So great customer service means responding to their inquiries promptly and proactively addressing any issues that may arise. If a customer is unhappy with a product or service, they should feel confident that they can reach out to you and receive a prompt resolution. Also, of course, double check your product is high quality and well packaged, especially with the print on demand items. So if you're selling mugs, you definitely want to use custom happy and use our mailers because no matter how great your product is, you're going to get stars knocked off if it's poorly packaged and the customers receive a defective product. You can use like Amazon's Vine program. That's a great way to get honest, unbiased reviews from customers as well, which you can learn more about in my blog description. So if you're focusing on all these things and helping for your future five-star reviews, these should be really helpful and get those reviews. Next, create the same title and tags for your product is something that people do, which is really not helpful. So a lot of new FBA sellers make the mistake of using the same title and tags for every product, or they're just not using enough long tail keywords. For example, you might have a mug that's just called mom mug instead of something more descriptive like mom pregnancy announcement mug. They are going to um, be very different and you'll get completely different customers that way. I know sometimes people also will mass create the same titles for every mom related mug, even if the designs are considerably different and made for different occasions. So this is kind of problematic because it means your products are more likely to be lost in the sea of similar products on Amazon. Instead, you want to take the time to create unique titles and tags for each product in your inventory. Doing so will help your product stand out, be more likely to found, be found by potential buyers. There are tons of opportunities to reach your perfect buyer by using a variety of keywords, and you never really know which ones are going to help you rank as a bestseller. So it might take a little bit of time up front, um, but if you find that you're not getting as many sales as you would like, then definitely worth getting those. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. If you're interested in learning more about Amazon selling or ways to increase your sales, click the link in my description. I'll be sure to post new and exciting content that will help you take your business to the next level. As always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want more tips on how to be successful on Amazon. Thanks again.